Hello everyone. Uh, good to see you again. Uh, now is the uh, tenth week about the uh, wisdom literature. Uh, the time is very fast. Time is gone very fast. Uh, how are you? And how was your uh, last Easter vacation? Easter break, uh, spring break. Okay. So we had a. Uh, Finished the two books of wisdom literature in Bible, in the Bible. Uh, first book of uh, wisdom literature in the Book of Job, and second uh, book of wisdom literature is the Psalms. And now uh, we gonna start third book of wisdom literature in the Bible, the Proverbs. The Proverbs is a very, very uh, practical uh, book to about the real life, real our life. That's why so the Proverbs is a very easy reading and easy understanding. And uh, especially in uh, my personal opinion, I like uh, very uh, love the. Book of the in the Bible is for it. What is the Proverbs? And uh, I have a three kid, and so when I uh, teach to them in the my house in the home, I uh, use that uh, this Proverbs because this Proverbs is so very very practical in our real life. And as soon as uh, uh, we getting older, every day, every month, every year, so we should be memorized. That's why I love that uh, a book in the Bible is a Proverbs. Okay, so so we're gonna start with the uh, PowerPoint. Uh, yeah, so <coughs> our our class is BT three A zero, the wisdom literature and twenty twenty four spring. So this week is a tenth week, and first of all, so usually uh, I repeat the uh, before what is the wisdom literature in the Bible, and wisdom literature and the the. First one, the Book of Job's, and second, the Book of Psalms. And today, uh, I start the uh, first part, first part of the Proverbs. Okay, what what is a wisdom literature? Wisdom literature is not only Jewish, nor Christian. Not only Jewish, not only Christian. The wisdom literature is to everyone, everybody. Because uh, uh, every day uh, we getting uh, mo more information and we getting more experience, but uh, every day is our new life, new experience. That's why, therefore, uh, we needed the wisdom. Not only Jewish, now Christian. At uh, wisdom literature, wisdom is for everyone. The so why we should get the wisdom? So wisdom, goal of wisdom is a happiness, our happiness. So how can we get the happiness? A lot of money, good position, and good status, and good house, family, or a good job. But uh, good job, good position, a lot of money is not a goal. That's, those are uh, our method for the getting we, uh, happiness. So eventually our goal is our happiness. That's why we needed the wisdom to get the, our happiness in, my, in our life. The Proverbs, 
is especially very practical and connected to our real life. The best practical book among the wisdom literature in the Bible. More practical book than Job, Psalms, and Ecclesiastes, and Song of Song. The Proverbs is the very best practical and connected to our real life book. How many books of wisdom literature in the Bible? First book is Job, and second Psalms, and Proverbs, third one, and fourth Ecclesiastes, and last one is Song of Songs. These total five books we call the wisdom literature in the Bible. And what is a literature characteristic? What is a literature is a special uh, for uh, literary? The first one is a chiasmus. Chiasmus. So what is a chiasmus? The same meaning but different uh, presentation. Uh, different description, different uh, presentation, yeah, chiasmus. Uh, second one is narrative. Narrative is uh, talking to somebody, uh, somebody talk to somebody style, either uh, uh, literally style. And third one is a parallelism. The same meaning but different word. The chiasmus, same meaning but different uh, structure or different word, everything. But the parallelism is a specially different word. And fourth one is a side poem. Side poem is a first one, uh, ask to God what our hardship, uh, very difficult situation, ask to God. But next time, next step, is a thankful and praising and last one is a conviction what God exists with us. This is four kind of the literal, uh, literally characteristic. The first one is most uh, often we found that the uh, literary characteristic in the wisdom literature is chiasmus. And second one is narrative, and third one is parallelism, and fourth, last one is a side poem. And what is the book of Job and Psalms? So actually, not only Job and uh, Psalms together. The one sentence, what's the meaning? What's the conclusion of the book of Job? Is a 100% God's will. Not our will, not our uh, intentional, 100% God's intention, God's will. Therefore, people, are, or we, people, rely on Jehovah, the Jehovah uh, God. The 100% God's will, that therefore, people must be rely on Jehovah. This is uh, one sentence, one conclusion of the book of Job. And second one is Psalms, as a different uh, name of the book of Psalms, Song of Praise. Songs of Praise, not only one song, 150 Psalms. Some Psalms is, uh, we call the songs, or some uh, Psalms we call the poem. But anyway, so, Psalms consist of 150 psalms and we call it the songs of praise, different name. And then how many uh, also, how many writer in the psalms? So, so many. But we found that the four also is the, as the king of David, uh, he most uh, writer of the psalms. He uh, the king of David is Israelite, and second is Asab and descendant of Korah, the who was the musician, 
and during the king of David. So they uh, control or they uh, many manage that the musician and a lot of musician in the king of David during time. And last one is uh, Solomon. Solomon is the son of king of David. So we found that the four also, but the other also we don't know that. Because why? Because uh, uh, this is Psalm, 150 Psalms, so most half, half Psalm, or around 70 or 60 Psalms. So to collect the, uh, during the 1000 year in the Israelite. This is a book of Job and the book of Psalms. And especially uh, how uh, consist of book of Psalms, in especially is a various also, as a lot of also. That's why it's a theme, so not only one theme, but book of Psalms, book of Job, is a 100 God's will, people rely on Jehovah. So who is Job? Job is righteous people at that time. He is a main character. And Job has the three friends. So uh, there is an assistant character. And then one story about the Job. So Job is a righteous people, even though he takes a, a difficult situation. But why? P uh, 100% God's will. This is one story and one structure. But Psalms is so totally different because of various author and various theme and various structure and conclusion. Therefore, the Psalms we study very difficult of the theological theory. Why? Because very, very various also and themes. Not only one theme. That's why so a scholar uh, take a very hard for difficult of theological theory. But we found that the Book of Psalms very balanced diversity and one unity. Uh, various also, a lot of, also a lot of theme. That is a very uh, difficult of theological theory, but we study very serious and deeply, and then we found that the balanced diversity. So many different things, but just the one, uh, there are many, many uh, different uh, themes, but they are going to the one direction. There is one unity that is a very balanced uh, book of uh, Psalms. The, in the structure, the so first of all, the gratitude, and second, the praising, the songs praising to God, and they have a conviction. They had a conviction of what is the existence, existence of the God, and also Satan. The so Satan attempt to us to the wrong way, uh, not to the right way. But the God guidance, God gave to us for the guidance to the right way. And then so people uh, who has the uh, belief, and then they get the conviction. Okay, today, 10th lecture, 10th week, the book of Proverbs, uh, first part. <coughs> the when uh, make the the book of Proverbs, so the during of the Solomon, the king of Israel, around the before Christ B.C. 900. So before Jesus Christ came this world, the so before 900 years ago. So Solomon was the king of Israel, and then the, he made a proverbs, or he collect a proverbs, the prayer uh, before uh, around uh, 
1500 something. Who is the earth? Is the same as the uh, book of Psalms with various, various earths. But especially uh, Solomon. Uh, Solomon is a majority uh, reading, writing the uh, these uh, proverbs. Why? Why the king of Solomon uh, made the proverbs? Because he was a king. So you gonna think about that. The uh, how, how the king uh, manages the people? Because uh, uh, that's why. Uh, king or government or nation must be gave to the education to the people. That means to teach to people how to live, how to right live, uh, how uh, obey the regulation of the national uh, rules. So that's why so to teach to Israel people. But this one is very important for us, not only the Israel people, to teach it to us. So, you know, it's a common sense. It's a common sense is the you and me and everybody had to agree. So, for example, uh, when cross the uh, board, cross the road, and then the red, red light, we should stop. The blue light, the green light, and we can go. There is a, we can uh, make a, a agree that. There is a regulation. There is a national rule. But uh, we agree that, and then that's why it's so to teach. That is a common sense and to the regulation. This is uh, for us. It's a very... Uh, useful and very good information from the Proverbs even uh, this time. And what is a special character in the uh, Proverbs? So Proverbs in the Hebrew language is Mishale. Mishale, Mishale is uh, just a uh, uh, verb to teach, to give the information what to pray. So somebody uh, should more emphasize to the uh, give the regulation to pray. To teach to pray. That's the meaning of the word is Hebrew is Michele. It's a spe uh, it's a Michele. And special character is the second one is a very very practical book. And also not only Israelity nor Christian to everyone. Practical book to everyone, even though different language, different people, or different uh, religion. It doesn't matter. It's a proverb. It's a very practical book. Why? Proverbs is a mention of what the general life wisdom. General life is a most general life. Even uh, uh, different country, different language different age, different sex, a man or a woman, uh, old man, old woman, it doesn't matter. So proverbs is so mentioned to the general life wisdom. And that means the easy reading and easy understanding. It's very special. And even though, so you are not Christian, but you know it's a Genesis or uh, um, the book, Gospel of Matthew. So this is a, a base on the Christian must be uh, understand more each. But the proverbs, it doesn't matter. So just like a, a lot of ethic. So when we live in this world, that's why it's easy reading and easy understanding. It's a very special character. And what is conducted to a real life? And especially one personal and public and national. It's a third one. The three category is a one personal real life and so 
we getting the uh, group and the publics. So how we live publics, and we have a nationality, and then so how we live national. So uh, everything, everyone to conduct it to real life, and more deeply is a personal conducted. What's the personal conduct? So idleness. So what time do you wake up every morning? So some people wake up uh, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., around 12, noon, so many different. But why? Why we should be lightness? Why we should be like idleness? This is a personal conduct. And also honesty. So cheating is no good. Lying is no good. But why we should uh, be in an honest life? How? How we should live an uh, honest life? And also, what is family relationship? Uh, husband and wife, or parents and kids, children, the how can make a relationship in the uh, family, uh, family. And also, uh, this is a man and woman a relationship is a single man or a single woman, or a married man or a married woman. So, this is a, a specially uh, sexual problem. Adultery, adultery is, uh, you know, they no good. Eh? Adultery is a very serious guilt problem. The how we control, how we uh, not get the uh, uh, temptation. Uh, this is a man and woman relationship. Idleness, honesty, family relationship, and man and woman relationship, and also so many. So many conducted for the personal conducted. And the other one is public conducted is the same, is a public and national, is a national politics. So maybe this year we should uh, voting the American United States president. So how? How we uh, collect, how we make decision for the good uh, president of the United States as a national politics and wealth management. Even though it's, uh, you are the uh, personal wealth management, so for example for my life, around 20 years ago, 20 years ago, uh, I hope uh, I need more money and then uh, if I have more money and uh, I will be more happy and I can uh, contribution to the uh, poor people or some uh, who needed the help and then I can uh, donation, I can contribution if I have more money. But after 20 years right now, I need, I have a, a more money than 20 years ago. But same situation. Why? I should be uh, more efficiently uh, wealth management. So this is a public conducted and also is a very important is a business ethics. So business ethic is uh, why you should have the business. More money, need more money. Yeah, right now. Right now, we so many people has a business 
and who they get it, they hope getting more money. But not only money. So business can make a, a connect business owner to the customer. Business is a method. So and business can give to uh, happiness both of them, customer and owner. That is business ethics. It's properly conducted. So when you read the proverbs and then just like a personal conducted and public, uh, personal conducted and public conducted, you get the uh, more information. I think as um, I, I think as you get the uh, rare information, and you uh, get the uh, rare uh, experience. That, but why we should leading? We should lead the proverbs because education and training is uh, some uh, different, but. Education and training is very closely relation, because education means that uh, uh, if you don't know that, and then you get the information, and then you know that. But uh, seven years, for example, seven years ago, seven years old uh, kid or six years old kid, when they they are going to the school and they know they get the uh, information. So mathematics and English language and science. So when they go to the school and they getting the information. But after that, they should be trained. When they get the information and then they uh, live with their information. This is training. So when you reading the proverbs, you know that already. Yeah, of course, is why the people should be honest. Why the people doesn't uh, get the uh, long relationship with the family or a man and woman. You know that already. But when you read in the proverbs, and then naturally, automatic train them. Training, training, training. This is good for the, your uh, real life. Uh, what is the key verse? And the first part of the uh, proverbs and key verse is uh, chapter 1, chap first chapter, uh, fifth verse. Let the wise listen and add to their learning, and let the discerning get guidance. Let the wise listen. Yeah, well, listen is very, very uh, good and important. Let the wise listen and add to their learning. When you listen, and then you get the more information, good experience, of course, indirect experience from their learning. And then let the discerning get guidance. And you can get a, a good method, good direction. This is key verse, chapter one, chapter one and five verse, fifth verse. And second one is of same uh, first chapter 7th verse The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but first despise wisdom and discipline. The, that means the wisdom people has the fear of the Lord. Why? Lord, if we know that the Lord is the beginning of our knowledge, but the poor people, not wisdom people, despise. Despise wisdom and discipline. Wisdom, education, and discipline, training. The poor people despise. 
education and training. But wisdom people, they are looking for knowledge. They are looking for information. They train that. And then they get the experience that from the Lord. This is a, a very popular and famous uh, verse in the Bible. So chapter 1 and uh, chapter, first chapter and seventh verse. Okay, so we check up, uh, we gonna start study the th uh, three perspective. Theological perspective and uh, application of the proverbs and literally features. And first one is a theological perspective. There are there are no specific event and characters. You know, it's the last time I told you uh, the book of Job's. Job is a special specific event. So righteous people who is a job job is a righteous people but he take a difficult time this is a specific event and three friend is a cons counseling consulting to counseling to the jobs at three characters job and three friend and jobs children something like that is a specific event, but the proverbs has no specific event, no character. Just like uh, you know, it's a uh, uh, Psalms. Uh, looks like a Psalms, looks like a Psalms, but uh, not poem, not songs. It's a the, uh, dialogue. And the other one is a, a theological perspective. There are no organized pe period, no story about salvation, no story, no information of Jesus Christ. You know, it's a, uh, when we found that uh, uh, God in the Bible, even the book of Job, book of Job is a first chapter. There are uh, God and Satan. Satan is good to the God. Uh, Satan has the travel world and he found that the one righteous people in Middle East, his name is Job. But Satan asked to God, if I test to Job, and then uh, if you allowed, and then God allowed to the Satan what uh, Satan tested to Job's. He still believed God or he betrayed God when he got the difficult time. That story so consists of God and salvation and organized period. But in the book of Proverbs, there are no organized period, no story of salvation, no story of Jesus Christ. And then how we can found it the theological theory? That is uh, some uh, perspective. We should get the perspective. And last one is uh, there are social science and humanities. I think it's the first time I uh give you to give you the information uh what is the uh christendom and what is the humanity you know it's a middle middle uh, terms middle terms i uh present to the question who is the uh found the father of the humanity humanism is a john descartes here is uh, the book of uh, the Proverbs, as there are so many social science and social uh, regulation and humanities. That's why so you can read more easy than another Bible, another book of the wisdom literature. It's good for you. But uh, 
different style theological perspective. There are so, so many social science and humanities. And then how we can found that the uh, God's will and uh, reaction of the human to the God or Satan and how uh, we can get the salvation and what is the role of the Jesus Christ. There are no organized period. This is a pro uh, theological perspective. And another one is a theological perspective. With, uh, uh, we have the fear and reverence of Jehovah. We or Israelite, they had the fear and reverence of Jehovah. Another one is a uh, we must know Jehovah or God. Jehovah is God is the same meaning, but uh, if we study the book of Proverbs, how we can get the theological e uh, theory, and then we must know God. And also we must know what, what am I, what we are. So, how we can uh, more very easy to uh, open to the sin. So, must know uh, who is a sinner. And then, automatic, we need the salvation. And must know God, and then uh, what is God's will to us into the world. And how we can get the salvation, even we are the sinner. And then, what is the role of Jesus Christ? We can find that we can found, find that uh, theological theory when we have this just like a, a theological perspective. If we have the this theological perspective, it's very very hard for the theological theory. But this theological perspective, and then we can find what is God, who is God, what's the law of God to us, and how we reaction to the God, how we, we can uh, take a temptation about the sins. And if we, uh, we were sinner, and then how we can get the salvation, and then who can salvate to us. Who is the Savior? Is Jesus Christ. And who is Jesus Christ? What is Jesus Christ's role? What is the role of Jesus Christ? There is a theological perspective. When you read the Proverbs, and then, so, I recommend uh, every uh, sentence, every verse, when you're reading, and then uh, you think, uh, how we can get the theological perspective just like that. Okay. Okay, se okay second is how apply to the uh, of the Proverbs. If we uh, get the memory of the Proverbs verse and then how apply to our real life. Apply to daily life. It's more easy, more uh, comfortable because how many chapter in the Proverbs is 31 chapters. 31 chapters means every day. Today, so April 1st, and then you can read chapter 1st. And then you memory or you uh, think about that uh, uh, chapter 1 every day. Tomorrow, Tomorrow is April 4, April 2, April 2nd, and then you reading the second chapters and your memory and you think about that uh, what they said, what Proverbs said in second day, third day, fourth day, and 31 day, every day you apply daily life. After 31 chapter, after 31st chapter, and then repeatedly next month and May 1st, May 2nd. And then apply it to daily life every day is a proverb. 
and then you can memory that and you when you uh, if you have a uh, business or you are an employee and then you remember that oh I should live honest so what is my wisdom uh, what is the core of the, my wisdom and then happiness not only me and then my customer and my uh, partner my family my parents so just like that and natural and then so your life is naturally godly and healthy wise life if you apply to the Proverbs verse every day every moment and then naturally your life is very godly and healthy right try that okay and last one so there is literally a uh, feature literally specialty literally is a uh, specific literally so first one is chiasmus chiasmus is a uh, every in uh, wisdom literature is the most literally character characteristic literally features just like that chapter 16 verse 8 better or little with righteousness than much gain with injustice it's a, a proverbs if you have a small one if you get the small money if you take a small role is better than uh, much gain with injustice if you getting money through the righteousness very frankly and helpful to somebody but you get the little one little money or little reward but this is better than much gain in justice so when you cheating and then you uh, looking you uh, concern about that the other people how reaction to me if you if they know when we are, I, I had a cheating and then so you have a more uh, easily upset and easily uh, it's a <laughs> no good yeah it's a, a little what is good little or much much is good but much with righteousness is good but much gain with injustice is no good everybody knows that but when you lead and then you memory and you keep in mind and when you take when you take a, a temptation and then you uh, take a, this uh, uh, memory better or little with righteousness than much gain with injustice it's chiasmus so literally features another one is a peace and stripe better or dry crust dry crust is very hard and not good for eating and not good for uh, tasting but with peace is quiet quiet then a house of a feasting or fishing a fish and you know it's a roast beef and stay and lobster but with the stripe which one is good so little same little the dry crust and feasting is much injustice is strife righteousness and peace you know everyone everything you know that and then uh, but you keep in mind keep in mind keep in mind this is a, a proverbs okay second one is repetition repetition is a 
Why? What is good uh, best method of the education? Is a repetition. Repetition going to the trend. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. Same. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. The fears the Lord. He whose walk in upright fears the Lord, but he whose way uh, devious despise him. Repetition. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord. So we can treat him to somebody, but we cannot treat him to God. But people, the somebody, we can see that. But God, we cannot see that. That's why, so you, we think about the, the treating to God, because God, we cannot see that. But everywhere, every time, every condition, every uh, circumstance, God with us, Lord with us. That's why we cannot treat him to the Lord. We cannot hide from the Lord. That is the fear of the Lord. And then, that is the beginning of knowledge, beginning of the wisdom. And then we are very honest people in front of the people, in front of the somebody. Because in our mind, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, is the beginning of the knowledge. Every time in our, our mind, keep in mind, and then we frankly, we honestly to everybody. And then everybody likes us. Everybody loves us. Everybody trusts us. That is a good uh, education and good training. That's why uh, the Proverbs, the book of Proverbs, repetition. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Chiasmus, and then we think about that. And then memory, good for memory. And repetition, and then train that, train that. Education, education, chiasmus, educate. And repetition, train that. This is a literally feature of the uh, Proverbs. It's because Proverbs is a more practical book and more ethic in our life to the real our life. Okay, so let me explain our weekly assignment. So Proverbs, so you, I, I hope you are reading, you read uh, more uh, deeply, think of the Proverbs verse. That's why, so chapter 6, 6 to 11. You handwriting or typing, but you, I ask to you, you think about more deeply, serious, what's the meaning, and how I apply this verse to my real life. You think every time you think about when you're writing this verse. And second is a chapter 9 to 9, 7 to 12 verse. It's the same method. Same, uh, you think of more deeply how I apply to my real life. Okay? The, I think the proverb is uh, uh, more easy to the Psalms and Jobs because uh, proverbs is your life. So your uh, real life. Okay? Okay, 
Uh, today, this week is the uh, first week of uh, April, and I think it's the uh, end of this April, and then we're gonna take a uh, uh, final. So everybody take a good uh, point of the midterm, and I hope uh, you good uh, discipline. You had a good discipline, and you had a good information and experience through the uh, this class wisdom literature. Okay, thank you, and see you next week. Bye.